The automatic replies, also known as the out of office feature, is used to send automatic replies to notify others that you are either out of the office, on vacation, or not available to respond to email messages. And this feature is only available if you're connected to a Microsoft Exchange server, which I am, as you can see down below in the status bar, cha-ching Exchange. So to go ahead and set this up, come up here, click on the File tab, go backstage, Info selected by default, and there she is, right there, Automatic Replies Out of Office. Go ahead and click on it, and you can see up here by default it's not going to send any replies because, well, we haven't set it up, and we're not on vacation, which we'll do in just a second. So we can select to send automatic replies, and if I'm on vacation, and it's indefinite, and I don't have a set date or time that I'm coming back, if you're unfortunate that you do, well, you can go ahead and say, okay, only send during this time range. So you could say, well, let's say vacation is spring break. Oh, party on. Let's go ahead and do it. April the 2nd, and oh, we're not going to be leaving at 6 p.m. We're not going to be here at work. We've got an 8 to 5, so I'll start at 8 to start sending it. And then the end time will be that Friday, and we close at 5 p.m., so 8 to 5. Monday through Friday, I will not be here or go ahead and send the automatic reply. What reply? You can see down below it says automatic reply once for each sender with the following messages. You have your inside organization, which is when you're connected to the exchange server, your global address list, and then you have those outside of your organization. First of all, those who are inside, let's go ahead and type something like, hey, I'm on vacay. Let's go ahead and select it, and we can do this. We can make it huge, make it bold. And then select VK, we're just placing emphasis where it needs to be so they don't miss anything because I don't want to be bothered. In any case, there we go for the inside organization. And then for the outside organization, well, you get a couple of choices. It's checked here to automatically reply to people outside. That can be for either those who are in your contacts folder here in Outlook, or you can include those in your contacts folder and anybody outside of the organization. In other words, those that aren't in your contacts folder. And what do we want to type in for them? You can keep it the same or maybe something different. I'm not in, but totally out. We can change the font type, you know, because that is a bit abrupt. Let's do something soft like Monotype Corsiva. Well, we got to make it larger because that's just too teeny tiny. Doesn't that just make you feel a little bit more relaxed? It's not sharp fonts when I say I'm totally out. Hopefully they don't get upset at me because I'm using a fancy font. And they'll excuse me. And there's the happy face to kind of smooth things over. Now you can go ahead and click OK. And that's what happens when anybody inside your organization emails you on this tab. As opposed to those outside. And if you have anything that you want to keep an eye on. A specific email that comes in like with something in the subject. Meets a certain condition that you want to take care of or forward it on to somebody else when you're not here. Well you have rules down below. Go ahead and click on rules. And then add a rule. Up at the top is the condition area and then down below the actions. So set the conditions when it meets that condition or conditions. You can alert, you can delete, move to, copy, forward, reply with the template, and then do something custom if you have it set up. So if it's from maybe somebody in your organization, click on from. Global address list like carry double click. You can double click and add a bunch of others if you want. And then click OK and there you go. Now remember, if you're typing in email addresses, that be sure you use a, well, let's go to the end, semicolon as the delimiter, and then go ahead and keep typing other email addresses. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Send to, well, you got the options. If it's sent directly to you, you can have it do something, or if you're carbon copied, meaning like, gosh, these conversations that go back and forth and you keep CCing me while I'm on vacation, that's just going to junk up my inbox. I want to move that to another folder and not deal with that, at least not for the first week that I'm back. In any case, you can go ahead and choose, and then your subject. How about, hey, how about free money? Oh, I want to be alerted on that or have some special action performed or something in the body of the message. And then down below, based upon what you set up here for your conditions, you can perform these actions like alert with what action? Well, you can go ahead and notify with the text and then play a sound, bong or bing. I'm going to go ahead and click cancel. Don't need the notifications here, at least for free money, except to maybe delete it because it's spam. So it just automatically deletes it, sends it to the delete folder. Let me uncheck that. You can move it to another folder to take care of later. 
copy it to another folder, or even forward it on to somebody, because maybe they can hurry and respond to this to get that free money. So send it off to somebody, and then the method that you send it to them could be standard, as when you hit the forward button, you know, back in the mail folder when you're forwarding on a message, or you can leave the message intact, or insert the message as an attachment. So that's not included in the body of the message when this gets forwarded on as the action. Let's go ahead and uncheck that. You can reply with the template, click on the button, opens up a new email message, type in whatever you want, save it, and that's the template that it's going to reply with. And like I said, something custom. If you or your IT person has something custom set up, you can click on the drop down arrow to choose, and I don't. And then you do have the advanced options here. So if the condition is at least so many kilobytes, at most this many, or if it's received from this date to this date, if its importance is high, sensitivity, in any case, you can go ahead and take action and maybe forward it on to your special email address that only you will look at while you're on vacation and take care of it pronto. In which case, I'm going to go ahead and click Cancel because I'm not going to place that on there. You can click OK and add as many rules as you want. Okay, well, let me go ahead and uncheck this, and let's just say it's indefinite. I'm on vacation because this is only going to send during this time range, so it's only going to be active during that time, obviously. And so if it's indefinite, well, send automatic replies the moment I click OK. There you go. It's turned on. How do you know? Because, well, it's highlighted here, and it says automatic replies are now being sent. So if anybody sends me an email, it's going to shoot out to them, and I can turn it off. Not only will you get this message here, but when, let me click on the back here, there you go, front stage, up here it's warning you, you can turn it off if you're back and you want to be able to reply, not have it done automatically for you. You can also see it down below, automatic replies, you can click on it, and it brings it up if you want to make some changes. And if you go to another folder, not just the mail folder, but contacts, it's going to stay up, because it's a flag. Because you may get some message that you wish didn't automatically send out a reply, or at least have to backtrack and tell the person, hey, wait a second, I'm in the office, don't go. So that way you get it no matter where you go in Outlook here. And you can go ahead and turn it off here. And when you do, there, you don't get it down below in the status bar. And when you go backstage file to automatic replies, it's no longer highlighted. And of course, you can click on that to turn it off here and say don't send. And down below, hey, if you want to go back out again on vacay, it remembers what you typed in previously. So cool. Let's go ahead and click cancel. Click back and go to the mail folder. And in the inbox, I'm going to go ahead and have Carrie set up her automatic replies so we can see what it looks like on our end. And she's got it set up. So I'll go ahead and double click in a blank area to go to create an email message. And then type in Carrie. There we go. Hit the tab key. We get our mail tips, as it says up above, automatic reply, I'm on holiday, back when I feel rested. Well, that's jolly good. So at this point, I can go ahead and just remove the recipient and then email somebody else if it's urgent and somebody else in the organization can handle it. Or if it's like, okay, fine, I'm going to load you up with work when you get back. Or something nice, because who wants to come back to a bunch of grumpy coworkers? I hope you're resting fabulously. Really? Great. And then you can go ahead and send it, and once I send it off, I've got the warning in the mail tips, but almost instantaneously it'll kick back a message that says, what we just saw up in the mail tips, I'm on holiday. In which case, if she typed in paragraphs of text, you can double click to open it up and read everything down below. And then as soon as she gets back, hopefully she remembers to turn off that she's out of the office. And there you go. There's the icon with the door, and she's out of here. Well, that's what it means to me. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.